Hey, good afternoon, guys. I am Metaphysical Mike. I am sending you so much love and so much play. Welcome back to another podcast. On this empowering community, we are all about expansion on the mind, body, soul, taking you guys to a whole new level of peace, joy, and happiness. And today, I'm going to be teaching you how to co-create your own Disney World reality, if you will, by simply rewiring and reprogramming your subconscious mind. Now, number one to start with is your life is 95% of your life is run by the subconscious mind. It's this program. The subconscious acts as a, a video camera since you were very, very young. And before you were seven years old, everything went into your subconscious mind. You were more under theta brainwave activity. Then around 9, 10, 11, 12 years old, you got to be in beta. You know, you got to be awake. You got to understand more that, oh my God, why is my life the way it is? And if your life isn't the way you want it to be, I got good news for you. You can change it. It's never too late. You could be 30, 40, 50, you could be 80. It all starts by recognizing the power of your subconscious mind. We're only 5% conscious of our thoughts and 95% of it all on autopilot. Why do we do certain things? Why do we sabotage ourselves? Why do certain fears come up? Why do we have a hard time manifesting a relationship? Why are the same people we attract in our life counterproductive to people before who mistreated us when we were five years old? It's because that's what your subconscious believes. Your subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between what is real and what's imaginary. So. You could be in a classroom and you could say, oh, God, I got to take an exam. Or let's let's use the analogy of going to the doctor. So you're going to a doctor and it's like, oh, God, I'm all stressed out. I'm all worried. Well, when you're in the doctor office, instead of seeing it like a normal doctor office or a visit, picture the entire office is flooded with chocolate milk or something that brings out the inner kid in you. Because your subconscious, it can't tell what is real, what is legit, and what is a fantasy. So see yourself at the dentist. And see yourself, instead of the dentist, you know, when he's putting all these instruments in your mouth, see yourself on a beach. See yourself walking with your partner, your best friend. See the reality of what it is you want. And keep doing this again and again because the subconscious is powerful. And it all starts from the heart. Focus on the heart. Put all of your energy, focus this green light that is infiltrating your entire chest and see your heart growing, expanding in light, in green emerald light. Similarly to the Wizard of Oz and Emerald City, see your life and realize that you're in charge of your reality. You know, you think, oh God, I'm fixated, I'm stuck and it's I can't change it. Well, if you believe that, that will become your dominant reality because dominant thoughts aligning with dominant events becomes dominant reality, goes into physicality, and that becomes our experience, other known, wise, known as synchronicity. See your life. Make it magical. See whatever it is you want. I don't care how much money you want, how unrealistic it is, and focus and emotionalize. You can't just do the affirmations. You have to tap in the subconscious mind. Do this through a theta brainwave activity. You have to get to the nitty gritty of how the belief systems and what you've been programmed since a little kid went into the subconscious mind. See yourself doing this. You'll be creating new neural networks in your brain. This is also known as priming. You know, you're creating new neural pathways in your brain. See yourself living the most magical life possible. Let's say you can't walk well. See yourself. Imagine what it would be like and feel it in your heart if your doctor said, oh, you're never going to be able to walk again. You're paraplegic. What would it feel like? to walk again, to run, to jump. How about to go to your bank account and it says you have deposited, uh, let's say $10,000 into your account. How would that feel? 
and focus on that emotion. You have to do this in the morning and I suggest visualizing first thing as you get up because you're still in theta brainwave activity and right before you go to bed, see the life you want. Don't don't think that life is stuck. It's fixated. Life is very malleable. You can there's a lot of solutions. There is a lot of divine, divine intervention that is supporting every aspect of our life. It just starts when we tune into what it is we want. When you're manifesting from your ego, oh, I want a client because I want money, you're not going to manifest it. You have to manifest it with the intention of adding value and making a major contribution to the planet and helping all the people who are living on earth see the reality of what you want see yourself smiling see yourself with all this money see yourself with all of this these relationships and these beautiful partners and visualize to materialize see the life you want you do this your entire reality will change you don't feel yourself you know you're out in public see yourself dancing see everyone out in public in a supermarket in a bookstore at a campus in a doctor's office see them all dancing see them all shaking their asses and having fun and you will begin to really rewire your subconscious mind because your the rational thinking mind which is in the part of the brain of the neocortex is all based on oh it's got to be logic but most things that are happening on the planet right now i hate to burst your bubble bob but I'd be funny if there was a Bob listening to this, I'd laugh. <laughs> Most things happening on the planet are not logical. We are in charge of our reality. It's up to us. It's all up to who, it's up to our thoughts and beliefs. You are not stuck. Life is not fixated. You change your subconscious mind, you change your entire reality. You only attract what you believe you deserve. If you keep attracting crappy relationships, abusive people, people who just put you down, that's because of the subconscious level you think you're unworthy. Get to the theta brainwave activity state. Theta, this is like a hypnosis, and you will start to see that all of your programs, most of our programs aren't even from us. They're from society. They're from our friends. Most of your fears, most of your doubts and concerns and beliefs about money, not even stems from you. It goes back to your parents, your ancestors, your, some people have these karmic cords and lessons that they need to learn because they said before they went into these bodies, they wanted to learn specific lessons. Your subconscious is powerful. You can either use it, abuse it, or you can fuse it and put that spark together and really start to embody your power. You are such a powerful co-creator. I don't care what society, I don't care what you look like, your bank statement, I don't care what religion you come from, fuck it, man, you can become anything. You can do anything. I don't care if you're 70. I don't care if you're 12, if you're in elementary school. I don't care if you've been a janitor for 30 years and people have told you that's all you're capable of doing. You are smarter. A lot of the people in your life, you know, you feel like you're not smart enough. That's because they put a program, an outdated belief system into your subconscious where your brain can't tell what is, what's it like to be smart? What's it like to be, be successful? to achieve great things. Each and every one of us is capable of achieving things far greater than the logical mind can begin to process. It all starts by acknowledging within. Just like in The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy, the, gl the good witch Glinda said to Dorothy, the power has been with you all along. And then the scarecrow, the Tin Man said, why didn't you tell us that before? Because if she didn't tell you that, you never would have believed me. You had to figure it out for yourself. Kind of like sometimes where you go through really challenging times and it's like, well, how do you know I'm going to make it? And once you make it out, you're like, well, if other, someone else told you you were going to make it, you wouldn't believe them. But you made it through. You made it to this very day. And I want you to know how powerful you are. I want you to know that you can have anything you can imagine. Anything in the mind. This goes back to... Well, Disney, I mean, you went bankrupt, he still didn't give up, he created, you know, Disney World. Look at Mark Zuckerberg with Facebook, look at Bill Gates, Windows, I mean, all these people, Steve Jobs, 
Apple, Nikola Tesla, two brothers from Dayton, Ohio, called the Wright Brothers, the first airplane. They said that anything heavier than air will uh, go to the center of the Earth. Albert, Albert Einstein, theory of relativity, uh, equals mc squared. Nothing is really physical, physicality, you know, and the, the wave and the particle are one, and everything's just molecules moving at a very high speed. And we can go deeper than this, you know, because if you look at the tetrahedron, you look at the quantum, you look at the quark, you know, it's like an atom, the cells, you know, it's like the liver, and then you have the organs, then you have the cells, the DNA, the RNA, then you go down to the quantum level, then you have quarks. Then you have other, you know, different parts of the cell membrane and the RNA and the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. And you start to realize that anything is possible and that you're powerful more than you can begin to imagine. And that each and every one of you can be happy. You can feel peaceful. You can be safe. You can feel protected. Even if your entire life you felt like you never could feel at peace in your heart or centered, it's possible. Anything in this universe is possible. See it with your mind, visualize, put this into the subconscious in the morning, read affirmations, but also do this while in a theta brainwave activity. Look it up on YouTube, there's a bunch of different theta videos. It's a frequency, it puts your brain in this deep hypnosis where it goes into your subconscious, your subconscious picks it up, your conscious mind picks it up. Eventually, you know, your conscious mind is like, oh, well, I'm driving, I'm aware. But subconsciously, you already put the gears in shift because it's subconscious. It's habitual. So the subconscious can't tell what's real and what's imaginary. So instead of seeing yourself waking up and being tired, see yourself having all this energy. And there's all these people in the street and they're just dancing. They're singing along. They're having a really fun time. See your life. See yourself bouncing on a in like a, in a bouncy castle. See yourself having a water gun fight with your best friend from your childhood. You can see anything. You can see your boss. You may think it's intimidating. Picture him in an emoji mask. Picture him in a clown suit. Picture him in a SpongeBob outfit. Just see whatever it is you want, and your entire reality is going to change. I'm telling you, it's only a matter of time. You know, it doesn't take 20, 30 years. It just takes to be reinforced, like a habit or a behavior, or with the the reward and the punishment. With uh, what was it? Going back to like cognitive behavioral therapy. I'm going back to psychology and Freud, Sigmund, and all this different stuff that we're talking about. Most of this stuff isn't even from my physical body. A lot of this information you're listening to is from the higher angelic realm. I get a lot of these downloads in deep meditation when I really focus. And most of this stuff isn't from me. It's not like, well, how do you know all this information? No, no, no. Each of us has access to the Akashic Records. Each of us can co-create anything. Each and every one of us has the power, has unlimited capacity to take our life, take our lives to such an incredible level. I mean, we, we can do far greater things than the logical, rational, what is it, um, analytical mind. The reptilian brain can even begin to imagine. See yourself living in abundance. See yourself being happy. See yourself dancing. See yourself having a good time with your spouse. See yourself partying. See yourself getting off of addiction. See yourself not being depressed. See yourself. See the greatest version of yourself because it's there. Everything you want already exists energetically. I'm going I'm to repeat this so I can reinforce this into your subconscious mind. Everything you want exists energetically. It just has to do with being on the right bandwidth, the right frequency, the right circumstances, divine timing, synchronicity, and your entire life will begin to change. See yourself feeling good see yourself being at the your top the most exceptional life you can begin to imagine see yourself being happy see yourself healthy see yourself wealthy see yourself with nurturing people relationships see everyone in the family sheltered clothed the power of our mind, the things we can think of. I mean, if we use 95% of our brain capacity, can you imagine the things we could co-create? I mean, I couldn't even imagine. We probably could go to Mars or Jupiter less than a day. I mean, that would be pretty cool. Imagine going to Jupiter or Mars.
Although Jupiter, you know, the heat and, you know, it's too hot there. But Earth has so many elements and minerals and, you know, we're primarily carbon, but we're moving from carbon based life form into crystalline, which is a lighter type of energy, which is more of this higher dimensional realm. It's more of the, the Pleiadians, the Arcturians and these light beings, if you will. So see yourself with all the money in your bank account. See yourself with an unlimited amount of money. How would it feel? I want you guys to do right now, close your eyes. How would it feel? What word, if you closed your eyes right now and in your bank account, every single, at the end of every Friday, you had, let's say $5,000. How would that make you feel? Don't you feel it in your body? Can you imagine every single seven days? You don't even have to know the how. Let that, give it up to the universe. What if you, every single seven days, manifested $5,000 in your Venmo, PayPal, PNC, Wells Fargo, Santander Bank? What if we're in Chase? Whatever bank you know you belong to, it doesn't really matter. Just imagine. Imagine being able to have all this money. Imagine being able to co-create a magical life. Imagine feeling good. Imagine your new normal is most of the time is that you're happy, that you're aligned, that you're emotional aligned and you're in harmony. You're in a perfect homeostasis, perfect body temperature. Well, there's no such thing as perfection, but just imagine overall if most of the time you felt good. Just imagine if you could just open your mind to the magic of what it is you want. Each person on this planet is powerful, unique. We have our own gifts, abilities. Some people are good at mathematics. Some people are good at physics. Some people are really good at art. Some people are better at theater. We all have gifts and abilities that are, that are, that are, that are at our feet to use for disposal, to give to people. We have gifts and ideas, and it's an incredible time to be alive. And we, have a, we live in a magical world. Everything you can imagine Every single thing you can see in your mind can be yours. Everything you want already exists energetically. Now, some people are like, well, how does that make sense? Because everything's energy. Everything vibrates and oscillates. You are nothing more than oscillation of atoms moving at a specific speed. Just like the bandwidth, FM 90.1, WOGL. 101.1, you know, it's just tuning into that station, that frequency, everything vibrates. You're just energy. You think you're solid. You think you're pretty damn solid, don't you? You think your cells and everything. Well, that's just energy. You think your bank account is stuck fixated? Nope, that's energy. You think your car? Oh, your car for sure. It's, it's not fixated. I mean, you can go 80 miles per hour. You can go in cruise control. You can slow down. You can get a, a coffee with a neighbor, best friend. And you'll start to see that anything indeed is, is possible in this universe. Doesn't matter the how. Give the how up to the higher realm and say, universe, guides, I give you my concerns, my fears, my doubts. Any problem you have, just say, God, universe, angels, G whatever you feel comfortable, doesn't really matter, you know, believe what you want to believe, we're all co-creators, you know, we all live in our own universe, there's like seven, there's already like seven billion universes, because we all have our own inner world, it's all about perspective, and it's all about how we perceive and view our own destiny, but each of us is powerful, each of us is capable of far greater more than we can begin to imagine, and each and every one of us can be happy, we can have health, we can have wealth, we can be rich in spirit, we can be rich in form of opulence, opportunities, we can manifest a perfect dream job. Just believe in yourself. Believe in something you can't even see with your own eye because if you can be there in your mind, if you can feel in your body, you can experience it in physicality. It's only just a matter of time before your manifestation goes from the wave, and then it collapses into a particle, then it goes from the quantum realm into physical, into the physical realm, into reality. Anything's possible, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. If this podcast added significant value, energy, and service to your life, please comment down below. And we would love to hear what you guys have to say. What was your favorite part of the podcast? What are your thoughts and beliefs? How do you feel about the law of attraction? We want to know from you. 
We, we, we want to know how this made you feel. Was it helpful? Was this beneficial? Did you learn something? Was it insightful? Did you learn something new? Did you feel like this was a really deep video? Like, how did this make you feel in general? How did this make you feel in your life? Because this type of information, most people aren't talking about. Most people talk about the law of attraction, the secret. Look, I'm not putting down the secret by any means. The secret is a fantastic movie and a genius idea, but the secret doesn't have the key that it's the subconscious and that you can't just visualize. It goes deeper than that. You have to do hypnotherapy. You have to get to the theta brainwave state. So I love the secret. The secret's probably the reason why I really, I mean, I even got into the law of attraction and to manifestation and most of the stuff we do. It's because of the secret, but we have to include that it's the subconscious that needs help. Because once you reprogram your subconscious mind, you have a kid who's four, five, six years old. Most of the stuff that comes from the womb when you're a mom, that goes into their subconscious. The energy, the frequency, the belief systems, even if the, the children, the kids aren't even aware, that stuff goes into children at a very early age. So even if you weren't aware and your parents were fighting over bills when you were five or six years of divorce, that went into your subconscious. And I'm not surprised if your parents had a divorce at a very early age that you think, oh, I can't manifest a relationship. I'm 25 years old. I'm 35, still living with my parents because you believe relationships equal pain because that is what the program was and the version of yourself knew at an early age. And all that goes into the latter part of our life. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go split like a metaphysical atom. I really hope you enjoyed, and I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you very much for taking your time to be here. Thank you for listening. I hope this made your day. I hope you learned something new. I hope this made you smile. I hope this made you laugh. I hope this made you energized. I hope this made you feel hopeful. I intend for you to feel magnificent, for you to see that the power has been with you all along, just like Dorothy with the good witch said, all oh, the power. It's been with you all along, you silly goose. Who needs mother goose when you're already a mother goose? And you can use your own magician, your own magical wand to co-create an amazing life. It's up to you. Just keep on believing in the unseen. Use your mind today to co-create what it is you want. See yourself. Believe in something that you can't see with your own eyes and know that anything is possible. We live in a miraculous universe. We live in an ever-expanding universe. There's more than enough abundance in, in relationships and, and money in spiritual development, personal development, humanity, whatever it is you want, know that it can be yours. And everything you already desired, your soul is like, I want this so badly, why isn't it here? It already exists energetically. So believe that to be true today and know that you deserve peace. You deserve joy and you deserve to feel really good. You just deserve to wake up in the morning and just feel good for no reason at all. To just wake up and to feel grateful, to be happy, to dance, to sing, to go on top of the roof, to go water skating, not water skating, to go roller skating. Maybe we can do water skating. I never, how would that work? You know, maybe we can repel the ocean or, you know, some centripetal force. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for your love. Thank you for continued support. And I really hope that you enjoyed this podcast. Listen to this for 21 days. Go back to it. Listen before you go to bed. And I'm telling you, this program, these ideas, this energy, this concept will really embed and infiltrate your subconscious mind because your subconscious is powerful. You don't realize how powerful you are. You don't realize the capability of what it is you can achieve in these bodies in this time i mean we can manifest what we want but we got to be careful we got to realize that the power is within us right now your subconscious is powerful i mean you can co-create 
any experience, relationship, just believe in yourself. You're already worthy of what you want. Anyone who says you're not good enough, you don't deserve it, you're stupid, you're mentally retarded, that's a bunch of bullshit. That's not true. That is such a false belief that they imposed that went into your subconscious. You are good enough, you are lovable, and your divine sparkle of this endless love and supply from the entire universe and the cosmos. You deserve it all. You deserve peace, you deserve safety, you deserve protection, you deserve health, wealth, nurturing relationships, fun, laughter, just really wonderful experiences. It's all waiting for you behind the door. Now are you gonna just stay in the old 3D world where it's comfortable or are you gonna take a chance? Open the cosmic door and live the most magical and mystical life possible. It's up to you. Choose wisely. That's what a bird once told me when I was younger. A bird just flew up to me, smacked me in the face and said, choose wisely. No, that didn't happen, but we'll save that story for a different time. Anyway, have an exceptionally blessed and abundant day, my beautiful friends, and we'll chat again really soon. Not too soon, though, because we don't want to annoy you. <laughs> Create wisely. I love that. Pamelia Stefalata Atitis. I apologize if I screwed your name up. Some names confuse me, but I really like that. Yeah, create wisely. That's Ooh, I like that a lot. Yeah, that's even better than choose wisely. Create wisely. You're the manifester. Be awesome, be well, and have yourself a fantastic day. Thank you very much. I love you very much. I wish you all nothing but the very best. And I want you to know that anything in the universe that you can see with your mind, that you can feel with your heart, is possible. Open that door because it's yours. Behind that door could be Disneyland, it could be your own reality, it could be just magic. I mean, it could be the most exceptional life you can begin to imagine. It could be a wall, but the wall is made of chocolate and Willy Wonka is there. It could be The Incredibles. It could be anything you want. See what I mean? Just focus. Instead of being in a building and where you work, you don't like the office, see yourself on a beach. See yourself stepping on grass. See the entire office has a, is just made of grass. See forest in your office. See in your doctor's office that they're monkeys. See whatever it is you want. You're the creator. You create everything in your life. The experience through these eyes and this body is all up to your own thoughts, visualizations, and intentions. See yourself in space, see yourself in the movie theater, see yourself on the big screen, see yourself smiling. See yourself going to a movie premiere, a movie premiere and you're at the, the front row and the cinema and see yourself on the big screen with the biggest smile on your face and it says the end, the most fulfilling story possible and the credits and you'll see that it's magical. See yourself the way you want it to be. And then you'll know that it's possible. Just believe in yourself today. All right, guys. Peace, love, and namaste.